How's it going? It's been a while, huh? day for a ride well it's a little warm out but when you're when you're riding and the winds flowing it don't matter it don't matter baby what's going on YouTube glad to be back it's the real tea dog here with a very 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 late video since the last time I uploaded went on a little hiatus you know just uh, the thing is at the time well okay this video is gonna be me explaining you know what's been going on. I'm also going to explain at the end like some some possible new things happening in the channel. But yeah, first off, let me apologize to all my subs, all my loyal subs who've been around since the beginning. I haven't uploaded a, a video in so long. But anyways, why I didn't upload for a good while is because last July, I started going to a school over in uh, downtown Houston for uh, my massage therapist and body work uh, license. And uh, going to school at night, and then you know, going, and then during the day, I was uh, going to work every day, doing that literally every day of the week. You know, it's uh, you know, it consumed most of my time. And yeah, you could say you could have said like, oh, you know, could have recorded on the weekend, but you know, and I was just so caught up in my school, and then and then at one point during my I was going to school, I quit my job because I wanted to focus on school. I could have you know done it during the weekends or whatever, but I just did not have you know the motivation to for those of you who follow who follow me on, on instagram you could you know follow me in the on instagram I, I go by the same name on instagram if you don't know the real t-dog um you guys already kind of been up to date what i've on what i've been doing but i have uh, graduated from that school uh did my internship or put off taking the state board test for a while but i finally took it a couple weeks ago and passed it on my first try so whew. I am, I am so relieved in terms of like stress and stuff. So now I'm just kind of like working at my school and uh, I'm getting my resume ready because I'm getting ready to like venture out, see what's out there for me in terms of uh, job opportunities and whatnot. It's actually been a while since I made a vlog on this bike, matter of fact. Still tried and true, still going strong of course. So that part of my life, I've, I've, you know, it was a, it was an uphill climb, but I made it. I accomplished what I wanted to do, and uh, I got a, the beginnings of a big career ahead of me. Now that my life is actually, you know, not as stressful as it once was, and, uh, and you know, I have now, I now have a uh, time, and my life is pretty much, you know, more or less sorted out. I finally have the motivation, the inspiration, and the uh, time to get back to YouTube because I've been wanting to do it, get back on it for a long time. But you know what? Might, I might as well do a, just a shameless plug while I'm here. If you're in Houston area and you need a licensed massage therapist or you know someone that needs a licensed massage therapist, I'm your guy. I'm your guy. Just message me on Instagram, you know. We'll, we'll go from there. <laughs> I need my clientele. <laughs> in case you're wondering, if you haven't followed me on, on Instagram or, you know, all that stuff, uh, the Vulcan is pretty much the same since the last time I made posts or videos about it. Nothing, I haven't done anything to it. It's just been, you know, a good bike that I ride every now and then. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I was riding the ZX6R most of the time <laughs> since I've been on hiatus. Oh, so you know what? Speaking of the ZX6R, again, if you follow my Instagram, you already know. <laughs> you already know, but I don't have the ZX6R anymore. Yep, which is it didn't I didn't crash it or anything. It's <laughs> it's perfectly fine. It's just that I sold it. As much as I loved having two different bikes, it was fun 
getting to choose, you know, what I wanted to ride today and all that stuff. And there were two completely different styles of riding and whatnot. But the thing is, I wanted to go back to one bike. I do eventually, when I have my, when I get, you know, a lot more money in my life, would like to have more than one bike. You know, I wanted like, you know, two, three, four bikes if, if possible, you know. You know what, let's go over here and talk. Let's go to this park. sit down and talk for a while face the camera and all that because I haven't done that in a while it's kind of weird talking to a camera right now it's been a while <laughs> okay we're there's nobody here all right I like it that way you know what let's park right here I'm not gonna be even though there's nobody here no cops no no nobody I'm not gonna park in the handicapped spot or anything that's kind of a douche thing to do no matter how convenient it is for us bikers you know <laughs> Take a good look at her. She's kind of dirty. I haven't cleaned her in a while, but it's been a while since y'all saw saw her hunts. She's the same since the last video I made. <laughs> okay. Jeez. Oh, okay. Now it it was fine riding, but now it now I'm feeling the heat. ZX6R. Yeah, I sold it. It's actually kind of funny because I put it up on Craigslist a couple weeks ago. And the very next day, somebody wanted to go check it out and possibly buy it and bought it for asking price too. So I'm, you know, I knew I wasn't gonna get the money back that I used to buy it. But you know, it's funny too because before he came out, him and his uh, wife or girlfriend came out to go see me um, and the bike. He looked up YouTube videos uh, on a, you know, 0506 ZX6Rs, and <laughs> he came across Jake the Garden Snake's video. Uh, and he came across my videos about it so so imagine his face imagine his uh, surprise when he uh, realized he was face to face with you know <laughs> the exact the exact bike that he was uh, watching on YouTube <laughs> let's take this off Ugh. okay ZX6R I keep getting off track but so I sold it you know he was ecstatic about it um, so honestly one of the main reasons I didn't sell the Vulcan instead was because I'm kind of still making payments on it <laughs> so I didn't want to go through the hassle of you know telling someone like oh yeah I'm still making payments but if you give me the money you know I'll pay it off and I'll mail you the title and or you know you know take up take over the payments and, you know forget all that and it's a little bit more convenient bike to, to ride around when I want to ride around more comfortable. I can strap stuff to it. But other than that, you know, it's, those are pretty much the uh, big important things that that's happened in my uh, my life. Nothing too crazy. Just school and you know, no more. Or I left my old job and uh, started working out again. Uh, sold the ZX6R. Okay, yeah, I think I, hit it on, I think I hit it on everything. In terms of plans for the channel, because this video is all, I also want to talk about things I want to do in the future. The Vulcan, I love it, but there is a chance I might trade it in for another bike sometime this year. I don't know when. Chances are a leader bike of some kind, because the ZX6R, the 636 is awesome, you know, but I think if I'm just going to have one bike, it definitely needs to be a bike that I can say like, yeah, this is a bike that I'm gonna keep for a long, long time. This bike is fun. This bike has everything I want and need. And it's gonna last me for years and years to come. So it has to be the bike, one bike to rule them all. So I'm leaning towards either a leader bike, you know, a ZX6R or ZX10R. Uh, is an obvious choice but I'm also considering the new Jixxer 1000s and the new CBR 1000s those are those are nice looking bikes those are and they're and you, I mean when it comes to leader bikes they're all more or less the same it all it all really depends on how it feels to you when you sit on them you know that's a uh, at least how I look at it it really it all comes down to what brand you like most and what seems comfortable to sit on but I'm also leaning towards like a super naked or hyper naked. Number one choice in that is a Z900. They're still comfortable, but they're still pretty, you know, sporty like a sport bike. 
Um, and I just like the looks of it. It looks nice. Um, you know, I'm also thinking MT-09, a, a Yamaha MT-09, or the new Honda CB-1000 naked. But I don't know, the, Z, the Z900 is definitely my, is like a top choice and the other choices are like, they're, 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 they're second and third choices, but they're way down in the second and like, you know, so. But that might not happen for a while unless I come across a great deal. And the, and the thing is like a lot of these brands had sales and specials going on that I what kind of wanted to take advantage of but you know i ended up not doing it because i want to make sure that my whole career and all this new career of mine and all this you know kicks off and i could actually get money save money for future things i want to do but also buy uh, a bike when trading that in you know because i don't, don't want to be i don't want to be that broke i'm fine with being just a little bit broke <laughs> some people have been asking me so you sold the zx6r you're gonna buy another bike with that money I'm no I'm not so this goes along with the whole sticking with one bike so but I have thrown out there like on my Instagram and stuff and Facebook and whatnot that I'm gonna go to a different uh, project we'll say that well it's already in the works and you know what it might happen soon so the next video for me um, that you'll see after this is more than likely going to be the reveal video of what that may be. There's that, so stay tuned. Stay tuned in the next video. We're going to see uh, a reveal of what's going to be happening for me, and, you know, personally, and that's going to, like, you know, affect the channel. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool, I, I think. And I hope y'all, my subscribers, will stick around for it all. Yeah, that's it. Um, Thank you again to all my subscribers who've been with me since the beginning. I'm sorry I, I was gone, but I was t I just took a little hiatus for myself. And uh, but everything is everything is coming together now. And um, I'll, I'm back. I'm back, baby. <laughs> I'm back on YouTube. I'm back to doing regular videos. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one.